At KVGC News, time is now seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Time for a look at the news for a Tuesday. It's the sixth day of March for 2018. In the news today, after over 10 years of planning and preparation, the Center Creek City Council has voted to award the construction contract for the replacement of the Main Street Bridge. Meeting last night, the Center Creek City Council voted four to nothing to award the contract to locally based company Vincegora Construction. Council member Jim Swift had to recuse himself due to his wife being employed by the company. Vincegora's bid came in at $3.8 million, beating the next highest bidder by $1.6 million. Wayne Vincegora, the company's owner, briefly addressed the council pledging to work with the city and Main Street businesses that would be impacted by the project, citing his previous work replacing the old Highway 49 bridge in Amador City. For years, the city of Sutter Creek has been debating and reworking this project that will also see a major remodel of several blocks of Main Street beyond the bridge and the area in front of City Hall. Work on relocation of utility lines is expected to resume this week, resulting in traffic controls on Main Street and closures uh, to a section of Eureka Street. Construction on the actual bridge itself is expected to start around the 1st of April. And the most recent winter storm over the Sierra Nevada added some modest bulk to an otherwise meager snowpack previously estimated at roughly a quarter of its normal average. Yesterday, Department of Water Resource officials were able to get out and conduct the late winter snowpack measurements four days later than usual due to last week's storm that dropped up to eight feet of new snow in some areas. Officials subsequently determined that the overall snow water equivalent is currently measuring at 9.4 inches, or 37% of normal for early March. According to the uh, Department of Water Resources, normally on this date, we should have 27 inches of water content in the snowpack. The snow survey conducted yesterday was the second measurement at Phillips Station near Lake Tahoe for this season's snow survey period. In addition to the manual survey, electric logs from 103 stations scattered throughout the Sierra read between an average of 37 to 43 percent of normal. State water experts say at this point, in order to reach the normal winter precipitation benchmark by April 1st, six more storms, like last week, would need to happen. Something that the National Weather Service says is a 1 in 50 probability. Preliminary hearing proceedings began yesterday for the Angels Camp woman accused of animal cruelty. Stephen Mendoza, the owner of the three pit bulls at the heart of the case, was the only witness during the first day of a preliminary hearing in Calaveras Superior Court for Vona Hughes, the owner of the pet bathhouse in Angel's Camp, who was accused of animal cruelty. Hughes has denied those accusations. Hughes was arrested on the charges back in July and faces three counts of felony animal cruelty, stealing an animal for commercial use, two counts of grand theft, and one misdemeanor animal cruelty charge. At the beginning of the hearing, Angels Camp Police Officer Curtis Johnson was identified as the lead investigator by the Deputy District Attorney. Angels Camp's Police chief and another law enforcement investigator attended the hearings and were excluded from the courtroom during Mendoza's testimony. Due to the time constraints, Judge Healy, overseeing the proceedings, instructed the court that the hearing would continue with law enforcement testimony at 2.30 today. A local woman has set a new world record, Ariel Skinner. Former a and shooter and a graduate of Argonaut High School captured the bronze medal at the World Cup Women's International Trap Competition in Guadalajara, Mexico on Monday. Skinner was selected by USA Shooting, the Olympic arm of the shooting sports, to represent our country at this 125-target World Cup event. 
The competition began on Sunday with 33 athletes from more than a dozen countries competing in a new 125-target qualifying event. Skinner finished first in the qualifying round with a top score. Now, prior to this, the women shot only 75 targets, then a finals round for the top six qualifiers for the medals. Since this was the first competition in the new format, and Ariel was the top qualifier, her qualifying score is the current world record and puts her in the record book of international shooting. Skinner will be competing again this month in the USA Spring Selection Match in Tucson, Arizona, and in April in the World Cup in South Korea. And 153 citations were recently handed out in a DMV sting operation carried out last month in 20 California communities, including both Jackson and Sonora. The investigators were looking for individuals who were fraudulently using disabled parking placards. The Jackson operation was on February 14th. 100 drivers were contacted and four citations were issued. The Sonora sting was held on February 6th. 50 drivers were contacted. Two citations were issued. Now, the penalty for fraudulently using disabled parking placards includes an appearance in court and a possible fine ranging from $250 to $1,000. The 20 sting operations were scattered throughout the month of February in various locations throughout the state, from Los Angeles to Clovis to Foster City, San Jose, Oxnard, and Chico. A total of 1,582 drivers were contacted with 153 citations issued. Now, anyone who suspects that a person may be misusing a disabled parking placard can fill out an online complaint form on the DMV website. Submissions are confidential. And the public is invited to review four applications for the El Dorado National Forest uh, State of California off-highway vehicle funding for the upcoming grant cycle. Now, this includes an application for ground operations and trail maintenance across the forest's four ranger districts, an application for forest-wide restoration and to restore sensitive areas and decommission unauthorized routes, an application to study the habitat of the California red-legged frog in the Rock Creek area, and an application for law enforcement across the forest. The preliminary grant applications are available for review on the Off-Highway Motor Vehicle Recreation website now through Monday, April 2nd. If you wish to submit comments, there are instructions on submitting comments through the online grant application database. Uh, former Sheriff uh, Prismich, Mike Prismich, was very involved in the off-highway uh, vehicle commission statewide. Uh, I believe he might have even held state office uh, with that group. And the Miss Calavera Scholarship pageant has extended the entry deadline and lowered the participation age. The new entry deadline is this Friday, March 9th. If you are 16 and a junior in high school, you can enter in the pageant. Additionally... If you are a freshman in college, you can run. If you have ran before and still meet all the requirements, you can also still participate. For more details, visit the Calaveras County Fair website. And that's a look at local news on a Gold Country Tuesday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm Jim Geedy reporting.